this arrived. It's the stereo microphone that I wanted to get for my camcorder or this camera here, DSLR. So <clears throat> I was trying to work out how to get this video recorder to work, so I bought a, one of these 8 in 1 and it seems to be working on everything but this video recorder. Whilst I'm doing that, this turns up and having noodles. So yeah, let's see if it does anything what it's supposed to do. Right, let's get this open then. So this is a stereo microphone. Bloody package it in these plastic type things. I can never get them open. This was from Amazon because I got a gift card. And I thought, oh, I wouldn't mind getting a stereo microphone. This is for comparison. Lighting and everything. There it is. There's a cable. Internal cable. I can get the bloody thing out. Okay, so there's the cable. And there's the uh, thing. It says it doesn't need batteries. Most of these stereo ones seem to need batteries. There's a low cut filter I think or something I don't know if you can take the end off it's like a it's like a plastic something inside of it but I don't think I can pull it off but it's got the just the bottom on it so what I'll do is I'll put it on turn the camera off and then I'll do a test on it Okay, I got it on now. I don't know because I haven't obviously seen the footage of this yet. So I'm to the left and now I'm to the right. This is outside, this is mono. This is stereo and this is a test. Bloody music playing, this is not going to be good for YouTube.
Ready? No way. That's with it off. Really bad that one. Bad with that on, isn't it? To be honest. I don't know if this is picking me, so... Maybe what have you said or what on that? So that's the microphone there. What I'm using right now is the integrated mono, which is not stereo, of course, and it's it's okay, does all right. But this stereo microphone, I took the foam off because it wasn't it just wasn't really very good. And I made a I think a dead cat, and it goes on the front of it. I stopped all the wind, and it works really well. So I made that. I didn't come with it. It's a bit terrible. Put it on the end. And you've got your two microphones there. And this is a thing that cuts the bass slightly for low frequency noise, but I leave it in the main on position at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a test of the audio, comparing the mono to the stereo, and then I'll do an on-screen thing. And then we can play it back and then compare it with what this sounds like. And this is the stereo test, so I'll leave it to do silence for about 30 seconds. Okay, that's the stereo. Hello, this is the end of the video. I slightly messed this bit up because I have reprocessed the end of the video and I spelt something wrong in this bit. And I was going to do a whole voiceover, but I can't be bothered. It's totally pretentious. So basically, the, the summary is the issues with it are basically if you're in it on the bottom end of the range of Canon so you got the four digit and the three digits you got the the 1000 series and the well, I've got a thing open there let's just do this this these low end this business here this is the super low end it's going to be hissy basically so if you want to run any microphone external on any Canon DSLR gotta go for 60D 50D has no video on it 60D upwards these are bloody expensive like really expensive these high end ones the full frame ones, the, the 1D, I've got a Mark III, APS-H, um, oh, damn it, uh, which is very expensive, and I got it second hand, and um, it's, it's it's nice camera, but it, it doesn't have video. 
Mark IV and later are very expensive. These, this one and this one, Mark II, the Expert series, Mark III, very, very expensive, thousands. These are like three, four thousand pounds, that's about six thousand dollars. And then you can find these, they're not cheap either, they've got to be at least a thousand, uh, fifteen hundred new, so about eight hundred second hand. So I'm on the 550, which is this one, and so the audio is very hissy. So it's not the microphone, because I thought, oh, it's the microphone. No, it's the camera, because it's got AGC, and AGC is automatic game control, and it's very hissy. So that's the problem. Running it on the, with the AC coupler makes it get this sort of hmm noise, that's really annoying. So I uh, maybe I should have bought a, a, a genuine Canon one, but they're not cheap either, they're like 60, 70 pounds. So I can't really use it with that because it picks up the hum. The, mo the mono one's fine, but the um, external one just doesn't want to know uh, with that. So I've got a battery, it's okay. Um, so I was going to go through all this crap with all this business, like the the hiss and everything, which I've done on the main video. Yeah, I have to use noise reduction. I'm on um, this old version of Audacity. I had to download it separately because the modern one is really crap. I don't like the noise reduction on Audacity. The, the newest version, 3.3, 3. 3 point something. It's really kind of plasticky, uh, synthetic, no matter what you do. So if you go for this old version, you can get the noise reduction is this. And this is much better, and these settings work for me, so that's what I'm going to use. It does make it quite a what I find is the microphone's very loud. So what you can do is you can bring the when you do noise reduction, it goes quieter. If you don't go too low with the settings, say when I, what I was on, which was this, don't go like down here because it's just going to be like really quiet, and you have to boost it back up with the amplifier. It just brings the hiss back. Seven eight, so we'll, it'll be fine. Uh, so I can recommend this microphone, but only really if you want a quiet life. Um, don't you use it on a, any external microphone on it on a budget model because they're just going to be noisy. I don't know about the mono um, bullet, what do you call them, shotgun type microphones. Let's go on to my thing here. I've got they got this. I got it off Amazon. This is the thing. Um, I had a gift card for my birthday basically, so that's what I went for. And it's like anything about hiss, but that's the cheap Canon or the budget end of the Canon range, which is what I've got. Mono, I think it's battery powered. I didn't want a battery powered one, so that's why I went for the Ceremonic. Um They have a nice pickup, I suppose. I don't know, I've not tried them, so I don't know. But um I don't want any one without batteries in it because it's just more less nonsense. But um, this probably isn't very good for mo for interviewing people. It's just good for like atmospherics, like um, ambience and wildlife, and going out. Not so much with um, talking to people in an interview. Um, but yeah, we use it on a pro model, semi pro model, or high end one, like a 60D or higher. It should be really good with the audio. Um, I've got a 550D, so what the hell's that one? Somebody has it. Yeah, I've, I've got this one. There's nothing wrong with it, but it doesn't say much about the AGC issues. So, yeah, it's a nice microphone. It's got nice stereo, and uh, I'll leave it to you. If if you want to go and buy that one, then do it, but know that it will be noisy with the budget models, because it is. And if you want nice, clean audio, you got to go for a 60D or higher, which is a bit of a bugger, really. I'll leave it there. This video's gone way, way long enough, so... Um, yeah, if you want good, nice audio, go for pro. That's all I can say. Okay, I'll stop here. Thank you for watching, and until next time, bye.